Uh, corn prices are very high in the U.S. too. Can I increase the amount of forage in my diet and use less corn in the diet? And the answer, yes, you can, as long as you do not violate my rumen for animal carbohydrate guideline. So it simply says that uh, if corn is going to be that expensive, I'm going to feed more corn silage. That would be a good choice because the corn silage, in, at least in Illinois, is going to contain 30, 35, 38 percent starch. So I'm going to get I can replace some of my starch with corn silage. But when you're going to replace it, let's say with legume grass, you know, there might be some sugars in there, depending on the fermentation and if it's a haylage or hay. But I'm not going to have very much starch. And so the answer is I never give up milk. Because right now my value, uh, even though corn is expensive and soybean meal is expensive, uh, I'm just not going to give up my milk production because uh, the, the, the spread, in other words, the profitability still favors me feeding these expensive feed ingredients. So certainly uh, the person answering that in the class would say that, uh, wow, uh, just be careful. Corn silage, it's possible. Legume grass, small grain forages, be a little bit, be very careful. Just calculate your, in my view, uh, the, uh, our, the rumen fermentable carbohydrate value. And if you can feed more forage and still keep that number in the, in the high 30s or near 40, uh, your cow, your rumen microbes should handle it correctly.